Hey, what's up guys? We are back for another food tour around the city. Today we are looking for the best donut in all of New York and we are so excited for this video. So excited. We're gonna do it over multiple days so you will see us change clothes. <laughs> it would be a bit of a sugar rush if we did it all in one day. Yeah. We are also gonna meet up with some friends along the way because everybody loves donuts. So we're down on the Lower East Side to kick this thing off. We're with Josh, you might recognize him from some other videos. You're in the Museum of Ice Cream. Yep. And we went and got pizza together. Yep, yep. Now we're getting donuts. Donuts. And Carly used to work at a donut shop, so she knows everything about donuts. Fanatic of donuts. Woo! What is your favorite? Absolutely donut plant. This is it, people. This is the one to beat on a lot of lists. This so we're going to start here yeah. and see if any other donut shops on our list can beat it. For these donuts, we've got a creme brulee, Brooklyn blackout, orange blossom cashew, and a strawberry yeast. Whole time we've come here, we've never had it five years. And what do you think? The creme brulee? It's good. Not real good. So here's the creme brulee. Mm. That is so good. Yeah, the strawberry is legit. Oh, Kai got a whole Okay, favorites, what do you guys like? The strawberry one, hands down. The creme brulee was, was speaking to me. Josh? I'm go with the strawberry. Brooklyn Blackout is my favorite four, and it always be like my gold standard, but this time that strawberry was just speaking to me. It seriously tasted just like strawberry. Yeah. I love Brooklyn Blackout too. What amazed me is that normally I really like yeast donuts and not really cake donuts, but I love like both of these. Well, and it was cake that was filled too. Yeah. yeah. So it was like extra rich, but and it was just moist. Just a whole bunch of chocolatey greatness. Yes. Amen. But really good, not oily, light, fluffy. Yes. yes. Not greasy at all. Yeah. yeah. Definitely check out Donut Plant. You're gonna get donuts. It's a winner. Boom! So we're gonna go to another donut shop. We are gonna go up Essex to our next stop. Sticking here on the Lower East Side, we're gonna go to Dunwell, Dunwell Donuts. So we've walked off our last donuts. So we're ready for round two. This is Dunwell Donuts. They are all vegan. shop after watching like an anniversary episode of The Simpsons. All vegan, so let's try it out. I think Homer will be proud. <laughs> the dough itself is delicious. Like it's perfectly chewy and not too light. You're right, I like the consistency of the dough. It's got a good chew to it. If you can only eat vegan donuts, this is a solid choice. To me, I still think donut plants a little bit better though. Bakery. This is a bombolini. It's a filled donut. I can already feel it's so soft. Vanilla here and raspberry. Yes. Pizza. We'll see how it is. Mm. It is like the nuvola. We just got back from Italy and in Naples we ate these things called nuvola and honestly it was the best thing that we ever eaten. <laughs> um, and this is close. It's really, really good. But it's a cream filled donut and it is delicious. Raspberry? It's really good. So it almost doesn't taste fried, but it is. And it's really chewy. So it's really, I don't know, I like a chewy donut. <laughs> That's a pretty good donut. Still thinking about that one. <laughs> so this is the donut pub. They're open 24 hours a day and they are both peanut and tree nut free. and crispy it is around the outside and it's like super soft and fluffy on the inside. I love all the little crispy things on the outside though. Okay, I just got a classic sugar ring. I'm just really excited to eat because I feel like I need more sugar. <laughs> no is not my favorite, the flavor of the dough. And I don't know, it's still pretty early in the morning but it's, it's okay. 
It's 24 hours. Oh, cool. All right, so we're down in Greenwich Village at a place that I'm really excited about because I'd never heard of it, but it showed up on so many lists for best donuts. We're at Mazidar. Donut, but they also have an old-fashioned that looks delightful. So, oh, oh no, a raspberry rose donut too. Oh man! Oh, yeah. Shoot. What do we do? I don't know. Remind me to only eat a bite of this. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we'll just eat half the donut whole first. That's a lot chewier than the other donut. It was really good. The sugar on the outside is fantastic. I love sugar. Oh, that is heavy. I didn't realize it was filled with stuff. It's filled? Yeah, look. Ooh. I'll try a bite of this, whatever this is filled with. <laughs> Be careful. That is so good. Really? I don't even know how to describe that. Like, okay, let me try, let me try. Mm. I'm gonna eat this upside down after watching what just happened. <laughs> Yeah, it's less like a donut and more like eating bread, like a sweet, not too yeah. sweet, but like sugared sweet because it's on the outside. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I love it because it's like not overly sweet and really, really good. Yeah, like that moist. is really good. It is packed full of cream. I'm gonna have another bite because that is yummy. I love old fashioned donuts. I love so I'm really excited about this. We didn't realize they had old fashioned donuts. We were coming straight for the brioche. Uh, I don't know how to describe it yet. Give me a minute. <laughs> and another bite. It's like a really doughy Dutch baby. So not as eggy, more doughy, but then like fried and glazed. It almost tastes like a French toast that's been dipped in sugar. I like it. It's different. It's not, it's not like a normal old fashioned, but it's good. Not my favorite old fashioned ever, but really, really unique. This one. That's good. also a very big donut. That is a big donut. Oh. That's as big as her face. <laughs> dough is a really popular donut shop. We've actually had a lot of the dough donuts. So we just got the regular plain glaze. Which I've never had before. Just a classic, but how is it? It is good. Not light and fluffy and giant. This could fill you for like <laughs> two <laughs> meals. This donut. Oh man. That was good. Frosting is on point. It's fluffy and chewy. Just like the frosting to dough ratios, I feel like really good too. That is dang near perfect. I may eat this whole yeah. thing. <laughs> Where are we headed to? Up. We're going to Brooklyn. Do I sell frosting on me? Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> Where are we at? We're at Moe's Doughs in Brooklyn. This glazed croissant looks really good. Something else. And <laughs> it's a donut. It is. It's light. It's fluffy. A very lightly glazed. Not overly so. Oh, it's good. It's unique. It doesn't taste like a regular like glazed donut. It tastes. I don't know. Lighter. Totally light. That is really good. How do you describe that? That's a really good donut. It's got another little flavor to it, like more than just a regular glazed donut. It's almost like maybe there's honey, but it's good. Mm. I think I still have glaze all over my face. Okay, so we are headed to Peter Pan Donut Snacks. It's not that far. It's only maybe a. It's not that far. Walk. Yeah. Peter Pan has been around since the 1950s, and Moe's Doughs opened more recent than that, way more recent <laughs> than that. But apparently there's a little bit like of a rivalry, sort of. I guess the person who owns Moe's used to work at Peter Pan. <gasps> so, 
Let's see which one's better. I don't know. We just got the normal, it says it's honey dipped, so that sounded interesting. Hmm? Enjoy your weekend. It looks good, it smells good. Yes, it is. Oh, that's good. Yeah. It's got a little bit of honey flavor, not just a regular glaze. But it's soft and chewy. And it's good. It's really soft and light and chewy. Mm. I do like that. Okay, so we have a Peter Pan and we have a Moe's. Personally, I think Moe's is a little bit better. Oh. This is bigger. Boom. A little heftier. But flavor wise, I think Moe's is better. What do you think? I, I think just a tad. Yeah. Let me try a bite of that one again. There's a little bit different taste to that one. Yeah. It's like a butterier, butterier taste, I think, mm. to the Peter Pan. Are you excited? Yeah, I just got a lick of that on my fingers. I'm just gonna rip this open because that's sticky and sweet. So we are at our third donut shop in Brooklyn. We're at Pies and Thighs. And they're they all so different. This is a butter pecan donut. It's like a little bit salted. It's so, okay, so this one is like more, more bready. It's like a buttered piece of dough with deliciousness. Yeah. More like bread. It does taste more like bread than any of the other donuts we've had. Mm. So lot, buttery. There's a lot more buttery taste to it. That's good. This, I can't even imagine eating this entire thing in one sitting. Like that would be so filling. So let's do it. <laughs> Look at that, that's like five bites in and we're like barely halfway to the hole. So it tastes like it's like bread dipped in butter covered with a light layer of like sugar syrup, butter, sugar syrup, covered in what I'm assuming are pecans. <laughs> Since that's the name of the donut. For 350, <laughs> so it's definitely worth your money. Say, so, so that is a whole meal right there. Like, we couldn't even get halfway through that donut mm -mm. together. No. <laughs> Given we are of course, this is like seven donuts in yeah. now. <laughs> Hello! So we're here at Daily Provisions and we got some breakfast and a bunch of crawlers and we're gonna go up to Central Park and share them with some friends. So we don't have to eat everything alone. <laughs> this is a blueberry cruller and this one is a maple cruller. I'm really oily. Really? <laughs> I don't taste blueberry, but it's really light and fluffy, and it has really good taste. What's and Kai eating? Oil. Kai's got another donut plant donut. <laughs> in the back. Oh my gosh, that's so soft. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Oh, that's airier than I thought it would be. You're right, I don't taste the blueberry. I want to eat another bite though. I want to try the maple one. It's a really pretty donut. Mm. I like that one. Better than blueberry? Still oily, but the maple flavor is really, really good. I love maple. It's so light. It's like maple syrup. I don't particularly like maple bars. Issa loves maple bars, but I don't know. It's really good. It's like syrup. It's great. It's actually not as sweet as it does. Yeah, it's not as sweet as it smells. Yeah. Mm, that's true. I want another bite, and I really don't I like really maple like stuff. I really like this one. Yeah. I think it is super oily still. Both of these are really oily. But it's good. Look how light it is. There's a whole, like a cave in there. That's why it's so lightweight. <laughs> Our very last donut we were not able to get because somebody came in right before us, about like a dozen, and then they were out for the day. So. <laughs> and then COVID happened and everything shut down and then we just haven't been back to it. Yeah. So years have passed now and we're we've done. come back to floor washers. <laughs> Sugar on the outside? Yeah. Oh yeah. Sugar outside. Raspberry, red raspberry, jam filling inside. That is so good. <laughs> the raspberry is like tart. I don't know if you like it. It's a jam donut. But guy. it's really like thick, flavorful. There's a bunch of it in there. Look how 
fluffy that donut is. Yeah, donut fluffy, but it's also like dense, and I really like that in a donut. I know some people don't. It is so fluffy. Oh, I usually like filled donuts. Not very good. It's not crazy light. It's so it's got some density to it, so I feel like I'm actually eating a pastry. Good. The jam is actually really good. I'm not a huge tart fan, and the jam is tart, but it's still sweet too. So I like it actually, which is surprising because I don't usually like raspberry, but that's it's really good. It, it tastes like homemade jam. So props to a lot. That's a really good donut. Mm. And the sugar. I love the hit of sweetness on your tongue when you first bite into it. All the sugar on the outside is just so good. It's a good donut. Was this for two years in the making? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> that was a yeah. really good donut. Like I could, I could eat an entire box of those. They have other flavors too. Sour cherry that I really want to try. Lemon curd, black raspberry. <laughs> All of them. Next on the list is something you can find all around the city. There's not a specific address or location for it. It's street cart donuts. This one in particular is right across the street from Bryant Park. But honestly, you can find them all around the city. Anywhere where there's people working, you'll find a, a donut cart in the morning. Yep. It doesn't compare with like Donut Plant or Dough or some of the other amazing places out there, but it's only $1.50 for the twist, uh, less for some of the other donuts, and it's, it's good. It's convenient and delicious. Mm. By the way, I tried to do some digging to figure out where these things were made, and no one knows. So if you know where these donuts are made, I would love to hear about it. So let us know in the comments. All right, here we are at Krispy Kreme right above Times Square. I'm just kidding, we're not going to Krispy Kreme. I, we love Krispy Kreme, but definitely not for this video. <laughs> yeah, I don't buy that. This is from North Carolina. <laughs> so we did have a 13th donut shop to make a baker's dozen. It's called The Donut Project. However, I lost the footage. Like first time in like 10 years on YouTube I lost footage, but it, it's gone. Yeah, uh, we went with our friend Chelsea and we had a great time. Kai, Kai was there and loved it. Um, it was one of my favorite, one of my favorites. It's got a maple bacon donut. Uh, An everything bagel donut, which I think is what made them kind of famous too, along yeah. with that maple bar. Um, it's a great I, I had a special that was a blueberry yuzu. It was delicious. Mm. So yeah. yeah, definitely stop there. So, but right now, we're gonna give our top three donut shops. I don't know if I'm spelling that right. So, the number three favorite donut shop in New York is Mazadar. What did you say? Dough or Mazadar? I couldn't decide. <laughs> I remember them being the same, so they're tied in my mind. I was not expecting that brioche donut to be anything and it just blew my expectations out of the water. It was just it was so good. Plus and, you get the hole. Yeah. Which is like why <laughs> why not? Why? The hole is sometimes the best part. Yeah. Like going on a Duncan run and just getting a bunch of munchkins. Yeah. There you go. Okay. That's number three. Number two. Number two. I feel like we shouldn't have used lined paper for this. Number two best donut shop in New York is Or why? Oh, oh, oh donut my gosh, this is so good. To me, like the, the Brooklyn Blackout at Donut Plant was phenomenal. And the strawberry that we had there was so good too. It's so good. Yeah. And Or washers. Or yeah. washers, I I just can't get over like how soft it was. It was and that like, jam, not too sweet, the, and the jam was the so good. Was there was so, so good, much yeah. of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, That's washers. number two, and That's I loved good. it that much. So Okay. Ready for this? Number one best donut shop in New York. You ready? Ready. Best donut shop in New York. Number one favorite. I got dough. To. I love <laughs> dough. <laughs> How are you so surprised about that? And I thought it was the dang near perfect donut. I love dough. It is. I I don't know. I think maybe because my mouth is small. But it's such a big donut. <laughs> it's so big. It's so good. So yeah, I, I I had to be quiet during your number two because I really love Donut Plant. It's the one that I will go back to. The yeast donuts are just as good as the cake donuts. They're unique flavors. They're filled. They're square. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, I'm missing a letter there. <laughs> donut Plant and Dough, both of them phenomenal. All the donut shops that we visited on this, they're all good. They're all worth going to. These are absolutely our favorite. Donut yeah. Plant, Dough, Mazadar. Which is funny because these are donut plant and dough. I feel like are like the, some of the original donut shops. Yeah, um, the ones that put like donuts in New York on the map. 
Yeah. yeah. Put your uh, recommendations in the comments below for where we should try yeah. next time. We missed your favorites. Definitely let us know where we should go. So, thanks. Hope you have a great day. Bye.